When the net force is acting on a body equal zero, the system is said to be in a state of equilibrium or balance. This presentation will teach you how to calculate the magnitude and direction of the force needed to put a system in a state of equilibrium. Before we go any further, let's review what you already know about resultants. A resultant is the single force that will produce the same result as two or more forces. When two forces are drawn tail to tail, you find the resultant by using two dotted lines to turn your picture into a parallelogram. A diagonal line drawn from the base of the force vectors will give you your resultant. When two or more forces act on a body, the single force that will balance these forces is called the equilibrium. The equilibrium or balancing force is equal in magnitude to the resultant of the forces, but pointing in the exact opposite direction. These two green forces are connected tail to tail. If we wanted to find the force that would, re would balance these two forces, we would first need to dr find the resultant. If we use the parallelogram method, we can find the resultant by drawing a diagonal line from where the vectors meet to the other side of the parallelogram. The resultant is the single force that is equivalent to two or more forces. A body would receive the same force if it had the 5 and 12 newton force pulling on it, or if this resultant acted on it. Since the equilibrium is the single force that would balance two or more forces, what would the magnitude and direction of the equilibrium be? The resultant of these two vectors has a magnitude of 13 newtons and a direction of 22, 22.6 degrees north of west. The equilibrium will always have a magnitude of 13 newtons but point in the exact opposite direction. The equilibrium has the same angle but instead of being north of west, it is south of east. The equilibrium is always equal in magnitude and opposite in direction to the resultant. In this animation, the red force represents the resultant of the yellow and blue forces. The green force represents the equilibrium of the yellow and blue force. Notice that the equilibrium is greatest when the angle between the yellow and blue vector is small and the equilibrium is at its minimum as the angle between the two force vectors approach 180 degrees. Imagine that you were told that the resultant of two forces was 5 newtons 53 degrees north of west and was asked to find the equilibrium. All you would have to do to get the equilibrium is to keep the magnitude and angle and reverse the direction. So 5 newtons 53 degrees north of west would have an equilibrium of 5 newtons 53 degrees south of east. Concurrent forces, forces acting together of 10 newtons east and 10 newtons south act on an object. Draw the equilibrium. In order to draw the equilibrium to these two forces, all we need to do is measure the length of the resultant and draw the equilibrium with the same length but in the opposite direction. The equilibrium is always equal in magnitude to the resultant but opposite in direction. Notice that the equilibrium and resultant form a single line. Whenever we draw the equilibrium we always include a label. Since these forces are separated by an angle of 90 degrees, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the resultant. Before we draw our resultant, we use two dotted lines to convert our vector drawing into a parallelogram. We create our equilibrium by putting one half of our ruler on the resultant and drawing an arrow in the opposite direction with the same magnitude as the resultant. If the resultant is 14 newtons 45 degrees south of east, well then the equilibrium is 14 newtons 45 degrees north of east. Equal in magnitude, opposite in direction.
In this presentation, you have learned that the single force that puts a system in a state of balance or equilibrium is called the equilibrant. To find the equilibrant force, we must first find the resultant. The equilibrant is equal to the resultant, but acts in the opposite direction. This is the end of my presentation on how to find and draw an equilibrant.